exfoliated my body. You bring everything down. Moving about. But I'm driving as you can see. Why are you matching your cart? It's the light bulb that is killing me. That made me die out. In fibrosis. Oh my God. What? Okay, so I unhook it. Oh, 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 oh. Cheap is not always worth it. Got home from therapy. I keep on, it, it's massage therapy, it's the same thing. Got home from that and I am lighting my candles right now. I need to update you on a few things. I feel wonderful. I can literally bend forward without any pain. It just feels odd. It just feels like I have on a fake stomach because the stomach is partially numb and hard. The therapy is really good. It is helpful. It is necessary. I could not live without it. It is freaking painful. It is relaxing and I, it gives me a headache as well because it's freaking painful. There are some parts that are like, what the heck? Like the knot that is in my armpit. I didn't realize I had another knot in my other armpit, my left armpit, because the way she was rubbing it, I could tell she was getting a knot out. My right armpit has a knot and I knew that. Nia, the way she, I mean, she can't feel it, but I, I mean, I don't blame her. She has to get in there to really get it. And when I put my arm up like this, it hurts like I've done chest presses. Like, like let's say you've done chest presses and your muscles hurt. That's how this hurts. That's why I'm doing it like this. I'm like, Ooh, and I can't lie to you. The week before surgery, I was working out and I had done chest presses. So I'm like, shoot, I might have messed myself up with that. Okay, so I'm supposed to be doing exercises like this because you need to exercise the muscles so you're not all stiff. So doing this doesn't hurt me. It just, like I said, feels like I'm tight from doing chest presses or shoulder, not shoulder. It's really just right here. So the chest. Okay, but there's feels like a boil but as she's massaging it's loosening up so it's liquid and when she's massaging it's so tight she's ah you know the way she's pushing it jesus name of god I literally as i'm sitting there in my head i'm saying jesus name of god jesus christ of nazareth god help me and when i'm in pain i'm a quiet pain person i don't like making noise noise is annoying to me so I'm just quiet and I'm sitting there. She must be thinking, wow. <laughs> the faces that are coming out of my body and the, <laughs> oh God. So that whole thing is so tense on certain parts. Certain parts are so relaxing. My back is a lot better, so it doesn't hurt as much, but certain parts are like, whoa, you know, as she's massaging it. So because, because of all of it, it gave me a headache. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say. It gave me a freaking headache, all right? My body is not hurting me. It just gave me a freaking headache. The tape, excuse me, the tube in the back is, I mean, they're all loose enough to be pulled out because they're going to be pulled out. She said everyday massages until the tubes come out. And I have an appointment next week. I had to confirm the date because I forgot the date. But I know it's next week. So at that point, I believe my tubes will come out and then we'll, she'll tell me how often to come. But every day up until the tubes come out and we are on day eight of massages. No, today's day eight post-op. And I've done maybe six massages, something like that. I don't know. But I have my list here and my number, I didn't, change, I didn't look at my drain so much Wednesday and Thursday, which I think is a good thing because... I didn't have a lot of output anyway, but it just shows you how much my output has been for Wednesday and then early this morning. The total for my drains to come out for two days, right? They said total for two days needs to be under 25. So right now the drains are not ready to come because I had 25 in, oh, I put the wrong time over here. What the blood? Uh oh, I did the wrong thing here. I just made I just saw a mistake. Drain one was five and that was at like six thirty this morning. Anyway. Yeah, the total for two days I believe is supposed to be under twenty-five. And drain two this morning was twenty-five. So we still have another week and I'm I'm actually okay with it. I was just in a rush to get out of the drain because I didn't want to have drains. But really and truly having the drains is a great thing because it's collecting all the fluid that would be in my freaking body. Granted, I still have inflammation because I had a major surgery, but yo, looking at all of that fluid, 
if that was in my body, granted some of it would come out of urination, but how much of it you can It ain't gonna be that much. So I am really glad <laughs> in hindsight that I got these drains because what the hell? I don't want that in my body. It's uncomfortable. Yesterday, my legs were swollen and I know why. We went to that you know, all in place and I really shouldn't have eaten what I did, but I did eat it and I learned my lesson. So I had gumbo without the rice. Of course, it's very salty and my legs on casa were swollen yesterday. It was uncomfortable. I do feel a little bit of sw swelling today, but it's the normal swelling that I've been having. Yesterday was obnoxious and abnormal. So lesson learned there, you heard me? I'm gonna take some Tylenol. I stopped all of my prescription medication. I finished my antibiotic this morning. And yeah, it don't, it wouldn't have taken me that long, but like I said, I wasn't getting up in the middle of the night every six hours to take medicine. So I, like after a while, I was just like, forget it. Sleeping is not the greatest. <laughs> I'm sleeping on my back for God's sake. You can rotate and then set an alarm to rotate and rotate, but who the heck is going to do that? Not me. So I just sit on my back, I'll lay on my back and sleep. And <laughs> the discomfort is in the back. It's not in my, and, and this, this, oh, also too today, I thought to myself, why aren't I doing this? When I have everything off undressed, I'm going to strip my tube again because at therapy today, I looked back at the back tube and I see tissue, which is normal because even in my drains, I see tissue day to day, day to day. The tissue, however, can get stuck in the drain and you don't want that to happen because then it's blocked and then it's not going to drain properly. So you that's why you have to strip. Have I shown you the stripping of the tube? Let me look now, because I drained earlier. Oh yeah, I got, I'm ready to drain. Yeah, because I had stripped. If this is gross, go forward. I'm gonna show you my drains if you care. So I had stripped this earlier, and I didn't strip. I didn't drain it out at the the you know place because that's gross. So let me get my bleach spray, because I'm gonna just strip it and drain it right into the sink because I'm not, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna stand here because I need to show you anyway because normally I would pour this into the toilet, toilet, okay? So the, the, I would consider these to be full, full enough for me to strip them, okay? The white stuff you see in there, that's tissue. Tissue, what's the tissue, girls? The tissue in your body, okay? And ask your doctor, <laughs> praise the Lord. So the drain that's in my back, this is tissue in the tube right here not to be alarmed it's tissue so i'll show you the stripping so what i was trying to say is one drain number one goes where's it at this is drain number one and i know because it has a number uh-huh drain number one goes to my back and it got the tissue in there drain number two is to my stomach so the stomach drain is right here and i guess it's like around the bottom of my back i don't know but the drain in the back is right here and I feel it like I can I've touched my body and been like, oh, my God, that's the drain. OK, anyway, so I'm going to drain drain number one and I'm going to write it down and all that kind of stuff. Let me take. Actually, I do feel cold. Should I take this off? This is my outside sweater. I've worn this or the gray one every day. It's so comfortable. Inside is fleece. Just amazing. But let's take this off since I'm home now and I'll put a robe on top or something. You know, I'd I like to keep outside clothes outside and inside clothes inside, right? First. So, and I haven't had any leakage, so I haven't washed that stuff at all, actually. Today is my due date for a shower. This is from my spray deodorant, but I'm going to wash this stuff. And my new bra is coming in today, Thursday. My new bra is coming today, so I'll be changing the bra. This bra is loose on me. My breasts have gone down. I'm a little annoyed by that. I'm like, dang, I liked how swollen they were. They were nice and like juicy. I mean, they're still fine. I'm a D for God's sake, but still, I was like, oh yes. So they have gone down, whatever. So I'm now going to do the stripping, right? Okay, so drain number one is the one I always do first. I can actually feel, I feel some liquid moving. What is that? I, like now that I'm a little looser, if I move a certain way, bend a certain way, what makes me so stiff is this garment in the board. What makes me so, uh, excuse me, I can actually feel like, you ever feel just something in your body go like, Bruh? like you don't hear the sound, but you feel it. I be feeling it. I literally be feeling it. It's crazy. Okay. 
So here is drain number one. Should I show you the mirror? I should, I'll just keep it right here. Okay, so I unhook it and this garment is hanging on tight. It came with the fee that I paid with the doctor. And I did buy another one, which is an XL. This is double XL. That other one is freaking tight, but eventually it is supposed to fit me, girl. I don't know when, okay? That thing is freaking tight. So here's drain number one. And it's underneath here, you know, whatever. I know that there's some fluid in on the inside, but I'm not taking this off right now. Just not. But to strip it, this is what you would do. You would go from the very beginning, like the very top, and then do this to bring everything down that is inside the tube. Because, and this is, they tell me like so durable, it's not gonna rip and it hasn't, so, you know, yeah. So what it is, is it's getting everything out of the tube and then bringing it into the bulb. Because what can be in the tube is tissue that would cause a blockage. Again, if this is gross, fast forward. And then this is where I read and you just estimate, I believe that is 20 right there. Okay, so 20. I just use hot water in my sink and I bleach it later. I can't imagine that blood is the worst thing that's been inside the Houston drain system, okay? And then I just pin this right back to my body. You squeeze it because it needs to be like this. As it fills, it opens up. That's how it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to rinse it. You can cause bacteria to go back inside of it, I'm told. So I do not rinse it at all. This is never this tangled. What did I do today? Okay, unhook number two. I've become such a pro at this now. Unhook number two. And see, you know, I did strip it while I was on the chair, uh, you know, at the place. So it's not as full of con 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 content contents. There aren't is not there's not many stuff in here. But uh, usually there's there's stuff, fluid, you know, light, dark red, all that stuff. So I'm stripping it down, and look, I can feel this. I can literally feel, it's not painful today, usually it is. I can feel it pulling from inside my stomach because it's a suction power, see? You're pulling it, let me do it again because I got some fluid that came up. When you're pulling it, you're holding the end up here. So it's creating a suction. So I can literally feel it pulling from my stomach, sucking more fluid from my stomach, literally I can feel it. And thank God today it's not painful. This is tissue right here. So we're stripping it down. Okay, and it's not gonna break. I've been doing this. So when I get here, I can feel the tissue. Granted, this is, I would have considered this atrociously gross, egregiously disgusting, right? But if you're a nurse or you just don't have a weak stomach or you're just interested, maybe you're still just very interested. So praise the Lord. I'm just showing you what I'm, what I'm doing, okay? You're following along. So here, I'm pushing this tissue down so that it doesn't get clogged up. I'm so shocked that I'm able to just do this. So like, <laughs> I mean, it has been eight days for God's sake. You just push it. Now, like I can leave it. it, this will calm down. Once more fluid comes in, it'll help push it easier. But I mean, I don't be sitting here all day doing this. Like I just do this enough and then open up the bulb. It gets bigger. You count or guesstimate. That looks like a 20 as well. And then I use hot water. Squeeze it out, close it again, leave it like this, just leave it, it's gross. It is what it is, you feel me? And now you leave your tubes just like that. It'll continue to collect. You don't rinse it, you don't wash it, you just leave it, okay? And then this one goes right here. They're labeled one and two. Very durable, no issues, no problems there, okay? And that's it, this is my life. And then I put a little, a little thing back here too to cover this part because if it's rubbing upon stuff it's so uncomfortable so yeah this is what i got going on right now and of course my tummy has gone down quite a bit i didn't film today's massage because it's the same old same old and i just didn't feel like it today but of course i'll give you updates is that a bruise looks like looks like some kind of dark. i can feel a tingling i can feel a tingling there's the drain is collecting for sure it's collecting something for sure and my breast itch Healing, so healing is itchy. So it's itchy, girl. And I look forward to showering today because 
Who doesn't love a good warm shower? Ugh. Just feels great. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. I can literally feel the fluid moving in my body. Maybe it's the tube. No, it's not the tube. It's and I can almost hear it. It's collecting. I can feel it. It's just odd, yo. I can feel the fluid collecting in my body. Just put it that way. Okay, let me spray the sink. <laughs> The most annoying part of the surgery is the tight garment and the board, like all the pieces. Just just imagine the tightest girdle. Even back in the days where girdles, when girdles came out, my mom had a girdle. We sold hers. Mm. It's got a little bit of a sharp pain. My mom, we took hers. <laughs> We wanted to cinch our waists, okay? So just imagine wearing a girdle 24-7. Who the hell does that? Who in their right mind outside of surgery recovery does that? If you've done that, oh my God. <sighs> then fine. <laughs> Kudos to you, I guess. But wow. You know, you put on them J, J, what, what? No, no, all those, uh, all those Instagram what you call them waist tra ah, waist trainer you put on all them waist trainers and instagram ones i purchased them before so painful and so uncomfortable yo to wear that 24 7 mm -mm, i could never but now i have to wear it 24 7 for four to six weeks so that's the worst part about this whole thing oh and the lipo <laughs> but the lipo pain is getting better <clears throat> that's it that's the worst part Oh, let me get in some packages in or whatever. Let me open up this box. It's a Lux purchase or whatever. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. They didn't make it. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't think it, it came already. Oh, it came. I thought this was something else. My Chanel sunglasses came in. I thought this was something else. So I'm like, why is this box so empty? This box was definitely supposed to be bigger. So I got, I made two Chanel orders and I save these for when I mail things out. Oh, okay, bye. I thought this was something else. A girl should always be two things, classy and fabulous. Coco Chanel, you ain't never lied. Honey, you ain't never lied. This one is for me, and the other one is for my sister. Oh, how cute. Girl, I just love me a Chanel box. Like, who doesn't? Hello, hi, so beautiful. This is so, look, I'm missing the nail. Oh, I like this, this cover thing. Because my other one, my other Chanel sunglasses, is leather. This is what? Can't. What is this? This is cloth. But it just looks pretty, you know? It's a cloth. How adorable. This is. Damn, my hands are ashy. Jesus, lamb. Hold on. This unboxing ain't going well because of the ash. Goodness gracious. A Ven. Honey, this is French. Avanci Calfate. Mm, let me add my own accent to it. I can't do it. It's this right here. Praise be. This is nice and thick, you know. It's giving thicknesses. Not sicknesses, honey. It's giving thicknesses. I don't understand why the garbage wasn't taken out on mm, Tuesday. Like, was Monday a holiday? Fine. I understand. And I bought a light is right there. I'm not ready to open that. We gonna open stuff up little by little. My energy be it be coming and going. It be it be bobbing and weaving, ebbing and woven. No, ebbing and weaving. That whatever. So right now I wanted to open up my Chanel stuff. You know what I'm talking about? I'll go. And I need to I need to wash my hair whenever it's time. It's it's time. Hi. Okay. This is so cutie cutie. Oh hi. It's. I bought them online, so I didn't see them, obviously. <laughs> Except for online. I like online. I, 
I don't like going to the stores. I've been told you that. Ooh, sexy lady. It has the pearl on the side. It's got the CC. It looks like the black one I have, I know. But this one is tortoise. Hello, you need different kinds. So sexy. Hello. Oh, and this one says Chanel Polaroid at the top. Mine don't polarize, Chanel polarized. I don't think my black ones say that. I never noticed it. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing now? Let's talk about it. You doing good? You doing good? Okay. I was just asking. You doing good? My ponytail looks insane, okay? I do understand that. It's My hair is so uh, fine and straight. <laughs> so the ponytail is just not doing anything right now. You understand? Uh -huh. But that's not the that's not the the discussion we are having. The discussion we are having now is how you doing? Let me call my sister because hers came in too. So let me just show her hers. She might not want me, she might not want me to put hers on my face, or she might want me to put hers on my face. You feel me? Like, and that's okay. Like I respect that. You feel me? Let me take my earpod off. You can hear her craziness. <laughs> this whole book. You know, we're not reading this book. Like, y'all reading books? When you buy stuff, like, what, are we, what are we reading? Oh, okay, you're gonna give us some history. Okay, Chanel said d'abord un style, la mode, c'est demande. No, that's not Spanish. Demande, hello, le style, jamais. Mm hmm. Jamais, that's it. Look at that. Emilian, oh, mm -mm. It, see, the way it was gonna go wasn't gonna go the way I wanted it to go. And because it wasn't gonna go the way that I would like to go, I wasn't gonna do it. Oh, okay, the English version is Chanel is first and foremost a style. Fashion goes out of fa what? Oh, okay, fashion goes out of style. Hey, fashion goes out of fashion. Not me not being able to read because of the Chanel shades. I can't do it. Fashion goes out of fat. Is it the Chanel shades or is it me? Fashion goes out of fashion style, never. G Gabrielle Chanel. You better go ahead and say it, okay? Oh, okay, so she's giving us descriptions and stuff. Maybe we do need this, okay? The Chanel glasses collection is based on powerful symbols that are genuine elements of the brand's identity. Out of breath, hi. <clears throat> it's the garment. Unique, prestigious, and instantly recognizable. That is true. The Chanel signature is a symbol of luxury and elegance all over the world. This is a fact. In February 1955, Mademoiselle created a bag that passed into legend. Is that a complete sentence? The 2.55. Two Since then, the quilted bag has become a worldwide reference. You ain't lying. On their own or intertwined, hey, or entwined with leather chains are chains are a feature of the Chanel style appearing in bags, necklaces, bracelets, and belts. Gabrielle Chanel's favorite flower was the camellia. While she loved for its what? Which she loved for its simplicity and almost geometrical roundness, today it appears in a multitude of versions in the Chanel. Chanel. Make sure the Sha Chanel look. Okay. Coco Chanel likely planted plant what? Coco Chanel likely planted a hey, liked plenty of rows of pearls, which she wore in strings, com combining. Wow, yeah, the reading in glasses in this it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be going. It ain't going. Okay, Coco Chanel liked plenty of rows of pearls, which she wore in strings, combining imitation and cultured pearls indiscriminately. So she, she does a little bit of imitation herself, praise be. In 1924, the ever visionary Mademoiselle put costume jewelry in her boutique at 31 Rue Cambon, Rue Cambon, period. Inspired by the Byzantine and Art Deco eras, it became the must what? <laughs> it became the new must-have fashion accessory. Gabrielle Chanel was very attached to symbols of luck, fortune, and prosperity, and loved to surround herself with lucky charms. We don't do lucky charms, praise the, praise the Lord above. We believe in Jesus Christ. But we can go ahead with the rest of the stuff, Gabrielle. Praise be, okay? So we're going to go ahead with the rest, all right? Thank you very much. And then we've got different languages. Praise God. Okay. So, ooh, now me feeling a little bit dizzy. See, all of that reading. Got me a little bit of woozy. Yeah. Mm. Got the Chanel cloth to wipe my 
Y'all, I'm dizzy. That made me freaking tired. That made me tired. Like, what else you want to say? You feel me? Returns will not be accepted without this tag. That is quite all right. Not to worry, Frederico. I'm planning to keep these because they are so sexy. Do -do 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 -do. It's me on day eight of post surgery, moving about. You know what I'm saying? Is this, is this how a dance goes? I've never done it before. You know, I don't practice TikTok dances. I'm running a business for God's sake. <laughs> you know, so I don't know how these things go. But is that how it goes? Am I doing it? It's not working. Okay. All right. Well, there we have it. Well, this is very lovely. I am really happy. Oh, you can't see my face. Hi. I'm really happy. You know, my sisters, I'm going to leave. I don't want to soil hers with my face, you know, juices and things. I want her to have her own experience. I'm out of breath. Hi. Polar Gradient Brown Dark Havana. That's that's the kind. Yo, I'm tired, yo. I'm gonna get my coffee. It's too much talking. I, I thought we were gonna come in here and do sign outs. I thought I, I thought I I thought that this was the other things that I had ordered from, from Chanel. It ain't oop, not me but see this is too much. This is too much. This is what you call doing way too much. I'm gonna go sit down because I'm tired now. <laughs> We got two people whoop, out here at the stores, both <laughs> required a handicap parking. Now, Granny, no good and well, she need to be in the crib, but she bored, so she forced me to come to the mall. Granny, mm -hmm. you got money to do some shopping? <laughs> we'll sit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be lucky if you took your wallet. Why would I be lucky? You need to have your wallet. If you don't have your wallet, if you don't have your wallet, you're not getting anything. How you gonna get something? Yo, so went to Nike. I did not work her name. I don't know her name. That's all I was to say. She's all looking at me. I'm not even. I'm not even talking. <clears throat> Jesus, my throat. I have post nasal trip and this guy. I thought I was doing it. Oh my God. I'm not even trying to come to you. I'm having some post nasal drips. Slow down. So we went to Nike, $300 later. And if you look at it, it was really an even split. So I guess it works out. And I had already given my mom money. And I'm like, all right, well, you need to give me the $100 back. No, $200 back. And then this guy was like, well, he would walk in and he's like, oh, you need to make way for your elderly. So he moved aside. Nice guy. And I was like, yeah, thank you. And then I was like, yeah, and then they have you buy them all this stuff. Now we're in Ross. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, they're a blessing. Thank God that we have them. You have her to buy her stuff. And I was like, you know what? He ain't lying about that. So I told Ma, don't worry. You don't have to give me the 200. Just give me 100. She was all suit. And a few minutes later, I was like, nah, just kidding. Let me get that 200 fresh $100 bills. And she was like, why did you give me a break like that? But I'm just kidding. I'm only going to have her give me the 100 And that 100 going to be cash. I don't carry cash. I bet 20 minutes before she leaves, she going to get that 100 back. You feel me? I guess this is, not I guess, this is the stage of spoiling these people. Look at that line. Look at that line. Yeah, that line not going to work out. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't need, we don't need to talk anything free over here. Nothing needs to be talked free here. Good morning. It is day nine today. I feel good. I wanted to tell you, however, or remind you, the worst part is when I get up, especially from bed in the morning, because I'm laying, I feel fine. I feel nothing. Then the get up is like, oh, body, come on, let's move. And it's the, it's the lipo areas. It is the lipo that is killing me. 
And I'm fine now. I'm fine standing here. But when I first got up, I was like, oh, reminded. Oh, yes, lipo. And <clears throat> I'm getting a sore throat. I, we took you need to get an allergy test. And I'm, I learned a lot. And I do believe, and then I do believe, I know I have allergies because I had the test, my hair is frizzy. I had the test when I was younger, the poke, poke, poke. And I know I'm allergic to trees and grass. <clears throat> but it's not enough of an allergy to disrupt my life. So I don't take an allergy pill every day. Years ago, I used to take an allergy pill every single day because I was getting hives. I got hives during, yeah, anyway, I was getting hives all the time. So I was doing the pill. My hives had gone away or the, the, the trigger has stopped triggering me whatever so i don't get the hype so i stopped but i realized that i really need to be and will be taking an allergy pill every single day still because i continue to have post nasal drip hence why i always have a i often let's just use accurate words i often have a sore throat so the post nasal drip the drip from the nose down to the throat will cause irritation to the throat which causes a sore throat so my issue when i have a cold is usually a freaking sore throat so I say this because I was starting to feel scratchy yesterday and I noticed the drip. So I was blowing my nose, just clear water, clear fluid. And then today I'm like, <clears throat> and at night I'm like, oh, I have a sore throat. It's not terrible, but it's there. So I'm like, what the heck? I'm saying this because, yes, I feel good. I can squeeze. I can actually contract my abs. When I get out of the bed, I can use my abs to get up without pain. However... When I cough, jay, it has to be a soft cough. It can't be a real one. A real one, oh, a real one is when I really feel like, oh my God, what is happening? So I say that because I'm like, yo, if I were to be full blown sick with this recovery, just take me out. Because you can't cough. You cannot cough for real, for real. The cough where it be in your lungs, you can't do it. You do it, you're dead. <laughs> so. I'm glad I, you know, I be tackling stuff early. I'm going to drink this Alka-Seltzer I always keep on deck today because <clears throat> there's no way I can be, I can have a cold right now. I'm not taking the harsh medications, so that's not a concern to me as far as mix, oops, mixing and all of that. But I cannot be coughing. And I don't, who the heck wants to be cold, cold, be sick anyway, but I cannot be coughing. I just cannot. I can't afford to be coughing. It's not going to work, you know, any edge month. So, got my Alka-Seltzer, and this happens to be cute. Oh, no wonder why this tastes different. She's just lame of God. I didn't realize I had purchased strawberry honey. I know I'm going to get the citrus one, quite of messy. This is not keto. I know it tasted different. Honey is not keto. Jesus. And I have two boxes. Yes. Good morning. I'm amazing. How are you? I got to show you what I got from Nike. And now I'm my, my scalp isn't too dirty. I feel like corn rowing it and then wearing it under a wig. I'm trying to just think of different ways to re repurpose this hair because you know, I don't feel like flat ironing it again. It's a little bit poofy from yesterday, but whatever. But then again, I don't want to be putting on no fake. Look at me, I'm about to swear. I don't want to be putting on no wig. You feel me? Like, I'm going to study all that all the time. That's annoying. <clears throat> Printed out a brief the other day for a campaign that I've got to do. Mommy's still got some work to do. I've got some editing. Oh, dear Lord. I've got maybe three campaigns that I sh shot before the third before the surgery i shot preemptively and then i need to edit then i've got you know my mom's you know her uh phone her phone ringer is still a barker y'all been here for some time my mom's phone ringer is barking and she just loves it so much we hate it with passion when you're in public <clears throat> and suddenly hear a phone a dog barking very disturbing and she thinks it's the greatest thing ever so that's for phone ringer. So yeah, printed out the campaign. It's good having a printer. I feel like I'm in school with a computer lab. Remember that? Remember computer labs? Oh, nostalgia. So I printed it out and I printed it in live in color. Praise God for a color printer. Do you hear me? Ooh. And I also had my assistant get this for me. These are nipple covers from Amazon. I plan on using for the days when I am daring enough to enjoy my investment and wear something without a bra. Because <laughs> those days will come. I do get it. I need to... It, <clears throat> protect my investment with wearing bras each day. Don't want to hear it. I'm going to enjoy this, okay? So, 
I'm gonna have some days where I don't do that thing on the outfit. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna wear those soft skims types bras. I'm not gonna do the Victoria's Secret underwire because I don't need that any longer. I don't need that any longer. Not only that, I, oh, uh, did she give me size four? What size she, I didn't realize what sizes, hold on. Ooh, does she do my bra size? Oh, okay, so she got me this size. Dang, she got me, <laughs> she got me the size for D plus cause honey, I ain't no D plus now. I'm a D, then I D plus. Okay, it's, okay, it's D and plus. So D and forward. Okay, she knows me. That's my sweetheart. Okay, yeah, she knows me. And it comes in different colors. I wanted the darkest color because I wanted it to look like skin. I've seen people where they talk about, and I've never worn these because I've never been able to. I've always needed a bra. The titties were paintings. Happy to have that. Happy to have that. Happy to use it for the first time. Whenever I can, when I'm cleared, you feel what I'm saying? This is my sister. There's too much stuff on this desk. Praise God. There's too much stuff on this desk. You feel me? Like, I need to clear it off. I need to clear it off. But yeah, I got some campaigns I need to edit. You feel me? And then I have just stuff. But I, I praise God for the, for even the ability. Do you understand? Oh, I got videos that I need from my editor that I need to review. So many. I'm really ahead, which is great, which allowed me to not have to film during this two weeks. I really could sit down with him if I wanted to, but I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start doing all that stuff next week. So yeah, I am ahead with videos, which is good. And if I don't have a video, I just have a video. It's pretty simple. You know, I'm not. I can come and kill myself, literally, you know. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be clearing my throat all day. See, this is the kind of stuff I can't stand. You see what I'm saying? I'm about to download some stuff from my R6. Is this an R6? I be forgetting. Is it, this is an R6, right? Yep. Because there's R5 and R10 and R, so I'd be getting all confused. Downloading it to my iPad. This is normally where I put my R6 stuff. I try to keep some things consistent. Not some things, just kidding. I keep a lot of things consistent. So that just makes sense in my mind. Our six stuff is normally pictures and reels. Oh, and you have to know that I'm using my Lumi deodorants. I just rubbed some under my armpits. Have I been showed you my armpits? This one isn't so bruised, but it is a little. I do have darkness under my pits, but this is bruising. And then I noticed yesterday too that I have a lot more bruising on this side. This is the side that I was telling you is so painful when she massages the armpit. This is all bruising and it goes right into here. But this is how I'm looking right now, day 10. You feel me? Drains are lighter, which is a good sign. I can put the drains on my side. Because the thing is, I don't need these drains bulging out looking weird. So I still have on the sports bra. I could do this Amazon dress. I want to wear my Gucci wedge sandals, but I do still have swelling in my feet. So I want to stretch out my stuff. So I'm going to wear sneakers because sneakers are sneakers. So dress and sneakers. I don't want to stretch out my sandals. My feet are not that swollen, but the swelling is still a thing. I just wish it was more fitted. I've had this for too long, so I can't return it. Uh, we're gonna just go with it. We're gonna just go with it. It's better than me wearing that freaking one piece thing. I did wash all of them. It's just giving old. It's just giving you've worn this too many days in a row. So I was just gonna be like, oh, are you going somewhere today? <laughs> Cause usually I come with the same amount, honey. Woo. Leaving my, uh, what's it called? Therapy today, massage today wasn't too bad. <laughs> then the lady had three people and thankfully she came in to see me so she did it and now we're killing some time for a second and we're at target ma why are you i need to get some oil refills what's it called the refills to go inside my plug-in uh -huh. plug-in refills why are you excited about target say your baby me i'm calm okay but do you need anything from target yeah what i mean I'm cool. Okay, I'm cool. but where are you gonna put all this stuff anyway? You know you carried a suitcase to come here. Uh -huh. So where are you gonna put all this stuff? So why not? I can't say I'm in suitcase because they're quite And that's the suitcase in front of Ayama. What? The bedding. So no, I can't say move 50 pounds. What was I doing? Handheld. Handicapped. 
Tokyo. And <laughs> since they're there, everybody's handicapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm driving, as you can see. Now, Santua was also a courageous woman to know. <laughs> Don't follow me. Everybody should follow what their body says. My body is always saying something very special. I'm so special, so, so special, so special, so special. Everybody, it's a song. My body is very special, so oh, yeah. I can do a lot of things that people, no, some people can't do. No, 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 no. 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 No, Young Ramu, Nana, young Komoi. So, the plug is, I know there's a two, two dollars. Those are at Bath and Body, that's down there. <laughs> One thing my mom is gonna do is collect mad tissues from Dunkin' Donuts and put them all over the car. She gets so angry whenever she goes to Dunkin' and doesn't get enough like tissue. She gets so upset. It's like, yo, can you relax? We're not doing the tissue storage, it's too much. But I gotta tell you, me and my mom, we do a lot of banter. I'm really enjoying her at her age. She's having a lot of fun. And, oh, excuse me. She's so grateful to just be able to literally enjoy and shop almost every day. It's wild. But I, I do praise the Lord Jehovah that I'm even able to give her this life of real enjoyment. Out of all her sicknesses, if she just get up and go to Target and JCPenney and Walmart every day, then I guess, I guess that's the life. It's welcome. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey there, check the pace yeah. another race. Don't be silly. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's it. Entertainment. Entertainment. Handicap before one and a half. Maybe a half in Kwan. I'm almost I'm almost out. <laughs> you are still there, Nyame. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Where did you put? Yeah, they did too much. This car mad noisy. It's too dangerous. Uh -huh. That's it. Hey, why are you matching your cart? <laughs> Yeah, they should give you a free gift card for matching their cart. Yo, it's cold in here. See what I mean? It's nice out, but when you come inside stores. Okay, this is the acne wash that I always talk about that can be used on the face and the body. And it <clears throat> will get rid of body acne, obviously, and then face acne. So FYI, grab this if you've never had it. Even if you have teenagers, yourself, as an adult, this is amazing. I use it. It's I, it's, I use it on my armpits. Okay, because it kills odor causing bacteria. It causes it kills bacteria. So it'll kill odor causing bacteria in the armpits and help you to not smell, you know, not have BO. Duh. And then I just saw this acne clearing body spray. So it has salicylic acid and it helps eliminate acne bumps, pimples, and blackheads. What? On the body? Interesting. So if you have the areas that are hard to reach. Wow, interesting. Back knee spray, crazy. Never seen that. That's actually really cool. I don't need it, but if you do need it, that is great. I'm just looking right now to see if you can tell of any swelling. Not really, a little, can you? Yeah, a little bit of swelling, but nothing tremendous, just in case you were wondering. She knows good and well she don't need any of this stuff. In fact, we purged things earlier today, but Granny will be Granny and Granny will shop even though she don't need to. Literally, this is something that she just likes to do. She just likes to shop. Yeah. She must get a dopamine hit when she buys things. Got me. Got me. Because there's not a lot of need. But it's not a lot of us. That's nice, Mama, but it's way too big. Oh, Okay, let's see with the belt. Because you know you've lost weight, so you gotta buy a lower, smaller size. But I don't think it's just but you like the space? You like it to be spacious like that? It looks nice. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Hello and good morning. Aha! Uh -huh. I still sit. Let me roll these compression socks down. They don't go over my knees. So, but they're like, I can stretch them over my knees, but they don't go over my knees comfortably. So they're rolling down. Let me put them back down. So sitting and walking strangely because of the I have a lot of work to do oh my god I'm looking at my my printouts and stuff right here so 
because of the board, you know, the the thing that's under the garment. So not only do I have on a garment, but I've got on um, whatever you call it, you know, the the thing under the garment. Hey, why is my head cut off? But I've got on the that thing. So it's very tight. And like I've said in the past, that is the most annoying part of all of this, is just having to wear this tight thing for so long. I look forward to stage, today is day 11, by the way. I look forward to stage two, which is where I take off these boards, and then I can wear a garment without the boards. And my doctor and I had talked about me wearing, I told her I wanted to wear like the skins thing because I've seen it and looks comfortable. Granny's on the phone, honey. Um, I already purchased my Skims garment actually. It's there. So that is what would be stage two, which I would switch into at week four, which is in two weeks. And I am eager to get to that because this thing is just so hard and stiff. So I look forward to my appointment on Thursday where I hope my drains will come out and then I look because that'll be at two weeks but you know you have to have fit into that all the criteria but I just look forward to that coming out just one last thing to worry about because when you shower when I shower I have to put it somewhere you know it's like I want to shower freely without this, this thing hanging out anywho good morning it is January 1st I am blessed you know I I don't do my videos in real time, meaning I don't film it now and then post it tomorrow. I give myself head, headway, leeway, lead time, whatever. Because I don't like being rushed, number one. It's not smart, number two. And I just need time to edit this stuff, number three. So there's that. Yes, today is January 1st. Praise God. Happy New Year. And I have a lot of work to do because I've been off in recovery. I feel great. I feel amazing. I feel fine. I feel fantastic. I have editing to do stuff that is due, what, like this week, next week. Thank God I already filmed it. I was hoping to have edited it, but I can't lie. I've just been so, I've been enjoying the peace of not having to work. I've been enjoying the relaxation time. In fact, yesterday I wanted to do a makeup and then I said, oh, I'll do it today. And I woke up and I don't feel like it, you know? and. If I don't feel like it, I'm just not going to do it. So that's where I am. And by doing my makeup, it was to film a video. It was to film a makeup video. And I just don't feel like it. So I'm really into that. I'm like, yo, I got to get out of that because very soon I need to, very soon as in tomorrow, I need to actually be filming and creating. So like creating with makeup because I did a mini vlog that did, I was just me getting ready in the morning. So I did do that. Anyway, I downloaded this Etsy planner that I really do love. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It's really cute. I love it. So I downloaded that and I've been pulling out the pages that I want to use because these things are, this is in particular, is almost 600 pages. I don't need all of the pages. So I've been pulling out, downloading, putting into good notes, the ones that I want to use. And they're so good. So I have been working on that. And I've got a bunch of videos. Let me look. I got my coffee right here. See what I haven't even sipped it yet. I got a bunch of videos that I need to edit. Wow. The enjoyment and the, re oh, that's nothing too. Oh my God, there's just so much. My Amazon. So I've got a bunch of things on subscribe and save. One of which is Dove Body Wash. Honey, I have other body washes that I've been using. So the Dove Body Wash been coming in, coming in hot. Like it's too much. I need to change the, oh, it's every month. Yeah, I get a four pack of the big body washes every month. Love it. It's just that I haven't even gotten, I, I don't need it. It's like too much. So I need to change the, the, uh, what? Yeah. Frequency. I'm going to change that frequency. But if you didn't know, Amazon, subscribe and save. I love it. It just comes in every whatever you choose. The stuff that you always buy, why not just have it on subscribe and save? Love that, right? So let's just change this. I have it on every month. I need to do every other at this point because... We ain't using that many, you know what I mean? 
So like every every two months is good at this point. Cause I'm so stocked up right now, it's insane. I have so many. And then I've got my nails that I have on subscribe and save. I've also got <laughs> these quest protein quest protein chips which are so good and, and keto of course i have my mouthwash like what in fact i need to increase that because we'll be going through the mouthwashes let me see where is it what the smart mouthwash smart mouthwashes are a must i'm working on this collective haul of my luxury purchases as of late and i've got to do the b-roll for that i've been working on this for months I need to do the b-roll it's like so many things i don't have a subscription for the smart mouth wash what are you talking about why don't i oh there's no lymphatic massage today they're closed which is fine so i've had nine sessions thus far so so helpful she's like you are progressing very well and i can tell and i can feel it i can see it and i paid for another 10 sessions because once my drains are out, she'll tell me how often to come. Maybe it's once a week, maybe it's twice a week. But, you know, why not get the sessions on discount? Because originally they're 120 versus when I buy the 10 pack, it comes out to be $90. It's $8.90. So, hello. Makes the most sense. So I just bought the other 10 pack because I, I plan on continuing. This is a huge investment. I plan on continuing to get the lymphatic massages because I'm going to be swelling for all, all the way up until a year. And I don't want to have any seroma, pockets of pockets of liquid, pockets of fluid. And I also don't want to have fibrosis. And I think that the massages will help with the two of those. Although maybe some people are predisposed to having fibrosis. I don't believe I'm one of those people, but I want to do everything that I can to avoid that because what? Let's talk about it. It's still day 11. <laughs> And you, you hear my thighs rubbing together. <laughs> I today, it almost sounded like I was going to sing Beyonce. I today did shower and put, I, I exfoliated my body. I'm doing a lot. I feel good about it. Do what you feel is best if you're going to do what I've done. Like, I'm doing what feels good to me. <laughs> uh, so... I showered, I body scrubbed, I did shave as well. You know, I do laser hair removal in between you shave. I do have one session left in January, which we are in now, but I'm going to sign up for more because I there's still some hair that I'm seeing and you essentially do it until you have no hair. So there's that. I have on the XL, because I was put in the double XL on surgery day, the garment. I have on the XL right now and this thing, although it is sucking me in a lot more, wow, it's tight. This thing is freaking tight. And let me tell you one thing. <clears throat> the, every other day, showering is annoying me because my skin gets dry. And so underneath, I be feeling so itchy. I'm also itchy because I'm healing. So it's a mix. I feel like it's dry itchiness and healing itchiness. And none of it is comfortable. My lipo incision here there's one in the top and then in the middle of my back are just about healed they're itchy and i put vaseline on them to keep them hydrated because it's a combination in my opinion of both healing skin and dryness because it gets crusty so why not put petroleum jelly essentially whatever petroleum jelly vaseline saving on it so i've been doing that and I have swelling in my hips, of course. I have swelling in general. This garment is tight, yo. The XL, it fits, they were right. They were right, it does fit me. But honey, is this thing tight? Absolutely, freaking lutely tight, end of story, okay? And I did size down on my sports bra as I bought a two pack of the same ones from Amazon. This is a medium. I was wearing a large from the surgery and I, she even said you could have gone down it's just the smallest one you brought was a, was a large so i knew to go down and this one fits very snug not painful nothing just very snug i wonder if my breast size went down i feel like it did which is fine with me because i don't care 
I, I have like my breast size is fine with me. I have no issue with it. It was just saggy. And now they sit up. And like I've said several times, I don't plan on wearing underwire bra ever again in my life. I'm gonna stick to soft ones like the Skims one. I already purchased one or two of those. And I just plan on wearing those. And you know, something like this when I go work out. Yeah. So I gotta get back to content this week, like I said. So I was sitting there and I was like, I need to whip out my wigs and prepare them so that when it's time for me to actually film something, and you're not feeling like, oh, I didn't fix my wig. Oh, I don't have any hair ready. Because you know I need to wash my hair and I'm not trying to do that. I don't even know when I'm gonna do that. Cause it just, it delays the shower. It'll have to be after my drains come out, which will be hopefully Thursday. Cause you know the hair, you gotta detangle, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. So for me, I need no drains cause the drain, it, I'm, I'm still attaching it to my head. You gotta attach it somewhere. So it's right here and I, I, I just like answers now. So because of build up, I wanna have a wig ready to go. This is the one that, is this washed? Oh no, it's not washed. This is the one that I was crimping, but I can, I'm over the crimping, I'm over it. So I guess I should put some curls in it. You know, I used to have curls in this thing. Perhaps I should do that. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought it was going to fall off. Oh, I should put some curls in this thing, huh? Some loose waves. The crimps were cute for some time. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to do the curls. You know why? Because it makes it easier. Because all I have to do at night is put the blue flexi rods in them. So, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm missing a flexi rod. Shoot. There's supposed to be four of these, right? Where the heck is the other one? Oh, and I've been having to adjust this right here because there's an incision or maybe just a sore. I don't know because it's glued, so I can't see. But, ooh, excuse me. The tape you see in there. So right here, maybe it's just been pressing because she did say that there's no incision right here in the middle of my chest. So perhaps it's just from pressing. So sometimes I will unzip just the top of this just to give it some reprieve because it'd be feeling so stinking tight. If I couldn't take a deep breath earlier, I'm definitely not taking it now. <laughs> this XL, Jay. Mm -mm. Did I say that it's day 12? It's day 12 and I'm unpacking some Amazon boxes. What's new? Have I shown you these smart sweets before? Very keto, and even if not, they're just low carb. And I bought a whole pack of them on Amazon. I love these things. This is my candy. This is what I get to eat. Um, they do taste some getting used to. And you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> and I'm back in my uniform because it was easy today. You're gonna be like, what? But it's good. I'm used to it. I'm used to stuff not being mad as we. That was good, yo. Right now, eating the this one. Sour melon bites. So it came in a pack. Seven pack. Is it seven? Seven pack. Just not you know. Mmm. I got something to tell you. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm at my therapy. I'm at my the place where I go and get my massage and. I, of course, in my research and just it, just on YouTube in general, this is a long story time to so grab something, girl. This is basically this is a surgery horror story that I'm going to share with you that I learned today. I wasn't too shocked about it, but I felt really, really bad for her. So at my massage, <clears throat> at a massage place and I saw a beautiful black woman and she had these beautiful, she had her hair in twists, four, four big twists, but they were long. She had long natural hair. It was like down to here. And <clears throat> she was tall, slender, slender build. And I was getting a coffee, which I still drink because it it's an appetite suppressant and it was warm and I was feeling kind of cold. 
So I was getting a coffee at the place. I had already finished, but I was getting that. And I saw her from the side view come in the door and sit down. And I could have sworn I saw her hunched over, but I was like, hmm, I don't know. Because I would imagine that this place would also offer regular massages, not just lymphatic. So I didn't want to make any assumption that she was here because of post-operative surgery, post-operative uh, uh, massage. So I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. And she had gone out to get something and come back. And when she was walking back, I saw, okay, yeah, she really is hunched over. And not only that, she had in her hand a bag. I'm going to say it because <clears throat> I can't get a cease and desist, can I? This is what I was told. Allegedly, just in case. But uh, this is what I was told. I had a bag in her hand and it was from... I had heard of this company just in looking at random YouTube videos, right? And I'm like, okay. And I know that people, and I know that people go to them and I thought that they were in Miami. And so when I saw the bag, I was like, huh, she definitely had something done. I'm going to talk to her. So I turned around and then we, I was waiting to make, like the room was really small. Like I was looking at her to get her attention. And then she looked up. So I was standing, she was sitting down. She looked up and I was like, hi, can I ask you a question? And she's like, yeah. I was like, did you get, did you get some work done? And she's like, yeah. And I said, did you go to that place on your bag? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? She was like, hmm. I was like, oh my God. I've heard some not so great things. So what what happened? You know. To protect her, I won't I won't share the exact location she went to, okay? So she was sharing that she had gone to a location and that because it sounded like she had heard some stuff too, but maybe in my in my assumption, from my understanding, maybe she pushed it aside. I'm a, I'm assuming she pushed it aside because of cost. This is my assumption. Because I was like, yeah, I stayed in town and I know I paid a lot of money, but I'm really glad I stayed in town because I, I went right to my house and I feel very confident in who I chose because my doctor, I can text her right now. I can call her right now and she'll answer the phone. And she was like, oh, no, no, no. So long story short, we talked for a long time. Long story short, beautiful woman too. She might be my age or a little bit older than me. She said, First of all, she only was in contact with the what, coordinator, or I don't know if the coordinator is a nurse or whatever. She's only in contact with the coordinator. This is this is a hard story because to me, what's cheap is not always worth it. You feel what I'm saying? I thank the Lord that I am able to afford what I did, but I also understand why people would make a choice to go with something more affordable because you want the result, you want the procedure, you want to look and feel how you want to look and feel, and you deserve to look and feel how you want to look and feel. It's a choice, it's not a requirement, right? This is a cosmetic procedure, it's not a required procedure. So I get it, I really, really and truly do. I really and truly do. However, the horror stories and the horror videos that I've seen online have scared me enough to be like, if it's cheap, I don't want it. I want to make sure that I'm satisfied with what I paid and that what I paid is worth it. It makes sense. And if it's a lot more, I would just get myself to the point where I can do it. And I never considered it heavily, more heavily until I was able to, able to afford it. So <clears throat> long story short, she had gone to one of the locations and she said that basically just like they say, it's a factory. I was like, excuse me? She said that she feels like it was a factory because when you call that place, you can't get in contact with anybody. I was like, what you mean? There's no way to get in contact with people and that you can't even get in contact to speak with the doctor. I watched a different video. Someone went somewhere else in Miami and she was saying that she met her doctor the morning of. So I had already been aware of this phenomena, <laughs> possibility. You know, that some people, a lot of people paying a very small amount, smaller than what you would pay perhaps here in Houston, are not meeting their doctors until the first, the, the morning of the surgery. Now, <clears throat> if you've been watching my story all along, then you know that I had a consultation in July. I've made phone calls and, and emailed incessantly with the coordinator who was very patient every single time. I also had a pre-op appointment that was two hours, two and a half hours, where a nurse read through everything on the packet that I was given where I had to sign and, and acknowledge. We read through everything. She explained everything to me that was two weeks before the actual 
procedure. And then the morning of, I showed up at 6.45. Yep, 6.45. Very nice service from beginning to end. Beautifully done with the OR nurses. Felt very secure. Just the anesthesiologist, the doctor, the whole thing. I had, oh, <clears throat> in the pre-op appointment, I also met with the doctor at the very end. I mean, questions answered. She, she marked me up right there because I wanted to see what she was going to do. So right there, she marked me up because I had questions. I need to know what's going on. You know, this was, this was, this was, this was, this was, this is this this very expensive. And felt very confident from the beginning to the end, you know? And not only that, we're right here in the city. So I was able to come right back to my house. So I get it, people who are traveling, they, you know, you spend all this extra money to stay and do all this anyway. So, so yeah, so she said, she didn't meet her doctor until the morning of. That right there just makes me so sick. That right there just makes me so sick because what if you and the doctor don't gel? Brandon, you close your eyes and literally wake up and it's done. But of course, with a doctor, it's been maybe four or seven hours. However, for me, with that kind of money and my physical being, I want to know that we, like, do I even like you? Like, I don't even want a rude server to serve me my plate at a restaurant. How much more a rude doctor or a doctor who was unapproachable? You know, I remember just being at the ER, my mom, when she was sick and this lung doctor was, I was about to give it to him. He had come in twice while I was there and I had prepared myself. I told the nurse, I said, I'm picking up on something with this doctor. Is this normal? <laughs> Am I reading this correctly? And she was like, no, you're, you're spot on. And I told her, I said, well, I'm just letting you know that when I see him next time, I'm going to confront him. Confront him doesn't mean I'm gonna turn tables. It means I'm going to say, hey doc, you know, let's, let's have a little chat. You know, I've got some concerns that I've been noticing and, and accumulating over the past few days that I'd love to speak with you about. So if you've got a second, can we go over that? I've learned this, you know, how to deal with certain people. So I was prepared to do that, but I never ended up seeing him before my mom was discharged. Anyway, so, you know, I, uh-uh, I, and I, like, I was like, we are not gonna go to a follow-up with him. We are not gonna go to a follow-up with him because I, I would lose it. He don't deserve even the health care that's gonna pay him. Like, no, we don't, he, no. You know, so imagine going to all, going through all this process and in the morning of the surgery, you meet a doctor and you're trying to talk and maybe he or she is cutting you off or just seeming very impatient, seeming like there's just in a rush, you know, not really hearing you out. There's no emotional connection, all that. What? After you're literally in a gaunt, what do they call those things? The garment, the, the, the loose thing you tie in the front, that thing. Like you've already done, you've already done your blood work. You've already done, you've already put your, got your prescriptions. You've already done your, your urine test. You, I mean, you've already uh, arranged everything, whether it's your time off, whether it's your what, you've already purchased all your, your, your my, all your things you will need at your house. I mean, you have already arranged your life to be out of commission or whatever for two weeks or whatever it is. And then you get there the morning of and you and that doctor don't gel. What do you do? You just do it because you're already here. Cause I had watched one video, I'm gonna get to the story. I had watched one video where a woman said that she had heard that this, that this doctor that she had gone to, when she also did seem to one of, that he don't like to see wish pics. I was thinking, what is that? And I read the comments and a wish pic is what I wish to look like, a picture I wish to look like. And so she was saying that she had already known that he don't like that, that she had heard of a story or I don't know if she watched it or whatever. This is a different location, different different company where the woman had shown up that morning and saw the doctor for the first time Show him a wish pick. Like, this is how I want to look. And he said, I don't take wish picks. If this is, you know, I do what I do. This is my interpretation. This is not verbatim, okay? Allegedly, he said, essentially. Allegedly and essentially. That you don't, you don't tell him what to do. I'm going to do what I feel based on your body. And if you want this, then I'm not the doctor for you. And he apparently canceled her procedure. The morning of. When I heard that in that other video, I was like, gee, Nikki. So she said when she had gone to that doctor, she didn't show no pic. She let him do what he pleased. And it sounded like she was happy. But I'm like, yo, that's insane. I get it. I'm not trying to be offensive to her. But that's, I could not do that. Mm -mm. I, I need to be hands on in everything. Literally, you know? So, wow. Okay, so back to this person, right? I had already, I was already aware of this phenomenon. And so she said she went to the doctor the morning of, and she went in with the intention of getting, she was so sweet. She was so sweet. I felt so bad for her. 
<clears throat> I felt very terrible for her. She went in with the intention, had prepared herself, her mind, her body to go in and get 360 lipo. Doc was like, yo, I'm giving you a tummy tuck. Excuse me, what? And she's like, what? So she told me that he told her he's giving her a tummy tuck because in order to get what she wanted, she needed a tummy tuck. And this is my summary of what she said, right? Allegedly. And I'm just like, oh my God, can you imagine that you only envisioned having one, two, three, four, maybe five blue wounds, right? The little holes. And then they heal over and stuff for the light bulb. But then you walk out with a smile smile line literally like the smile on his face literally hip to hip line scar my eye was oh, i couldn't believe it i was looking at her like what because i went in for that like i knew that's what i needed and wanted i had diastasis and i can't recall if she said she had that or not but she said she was fine having a little bit of loose skin she her to me was not as, i don't well i don't think it was as big as my body. I don't know. <clears throat> she was fine having a little bit of loose skin. She just wanted lipo. Oh. And he said no. He did his own. He essentially did his own thing. Honey, can you imagine? And I don't recall if she had to pay extra. I can imagine. So then, you know, for me, obviously, I did the 360 abdominoplasty and mastopexy, which is the lift. No implant. Just lift. And what I loved is that I just got it all over and done with because initially this wasn't my concern. But then after I met the, doc the doctor in July, I was like, yo, let me just do the whole thing because I don't want to do this again. If I had to, I would, but if I don't need to, I don't want to. So I added this in just to be one and done, right? And she said when she said to him that I'm one and well, if that's the case, then let's just add the mastopexy too and just be one and done. He said, there's no such thing as one and done. I was like, what? He told me there's no such thing as one and done. And that he, if she wanted to add that in, she'd have to rebook. That she'd have to rebook because the, I think he didn't have that time in the schedule to add in the mastopexy. Can you imagine? First of all, you are doing something different than I told you I wanted. That's number one. That I booked and paid for. Because before you come in and sit there, everything is paid in full. You understand me? Second of all, now you're telling me you don't even have the time to add in something else that I think would make more sense to go with what you are now telling me that you only do for me. You won't even do what I asked you to do. You're going to do something. And so, you know, oh, I feel, oh, and she's such a sweet lady, you know. So she went ahead with it. And we were, we were, <clears throat> we were exchanging, not exchanging, we were showing pictures because I'm, I'm just very open with people. I don't know her from anywhere. You know, she seemed very sweet. We're here in this place where we, we are all doing the same thing. So I was like, well, girl, I'm, let me show you my pictures and show you before and after. And I said, this is my picture from day one. You know, this is day two. This is day 10. I'm right now on day 12. And she's on day 20. And her stomach is not as flat as mine. And I'm like, you're taller, more slender. And her stomach is not as flat as mine. And she also was told not to wear a tight garment. Like all her aftercare instructions were not what mine were. I was like, no, my doctor did not say that. You know, I've been wearing my garment tight as hell for two weeks, 24-7. You feel me? And I was like, I've been coming here every day. I've been coming here every single day. You know, even right then and there, they were charging my card again for another 10 sessions. You know, because after I get my drains pulled out, I'm going to continue to go based on what the my well, massage therapist recommends. Because I've seen tremendous results in going and doing the massages. And that's something too, is that you have to consider, this is like an update basically, excuse me, maybe this should have been a different video, but whatever. You have to consider the ancillary charges, everything outside of it, the massages, the this, the that, that. And I'm like, when I woke up from the procedure I had on this garment from the company, from the doctor, I think she had to go get her own or something. Like, I was like, wait, what? I don't even know. I said, I think it's just so different. And she didn't, she didn't have on the right stuff. So she was like, can I see what you have? I, I literally unzipped myself in front of her. And I was like, this is what I have on. This is what I have on. You know, cause again, I like to just be very open people because I, I, I'm just a helper in nature at heart. And she was just like, oh no, yours looks really tight. I said, yes. And I'm getting used to taking deeper breaths with it on. But am I yoked up? I am yoked up, honey. You know, but I've seen huge results. It's compressing and helping to get the fluid out. She's not compressing. 
she had on this very loose garment and i was like no girl i said if this is your first day here she had done a few massages she said i said is this your first day here and you have the same lady as me she'll tell you she'll say you need to get tight of the garment you need to you know try this on do this do that she'll tell you what to do and then she's like and then once you leave you can't even get in contact with them i said excuse me if i had a question concern right now i could text or call my doctor or i can call, contact, the, contact the actual location what you mean she said mm -mm. she i think she was going through something i had a question something she was she didn't call them she couldn't get in contact in the video i had watched the lady said the same thing in different company the lady said the same thing black girl she said that she had to go on that company's instagram comments and blow it up I just had surgery with y'all recently. I have a question. I'm going through something, 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 something. Before they, before they answered her, responded to her. Oh my. I just give God all the glory. Like I said, my situation is very different. You can't expect to come, if you, if you ever were to do this. You could just be watching this because you're interested. I'm not saying you're trying to do this. But if you ever were to do this, you can't expect to have the same outcome as me. That's one thing. I'm very different and dur I'm very durable. <laughs> And I praise you over that, okay? I told her, I said, girl, I'm driving and everything. I feel great. Yes, I do have some skin soreness, but I feel great. Like, really, really great, you know? And she was like, what? I mean, I was standing up straight. Look, my back is, I'm on, I'm, this thing's a little tight on me. I'm sitting up straight. She was like this at day 20. I'm at day, I'm at day 12. And I'm sitting up like this. I was like, no, girl, no, 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 no. The massages are a must, the tighter compression. But I said, because you got what I got. You didn't get a 360, but you got tummy tuck. Talking about they said, because if it's tummy tuck, you shouldn't do too hard of a compression. So since I'm like, see, this is too much. And then she's left to her own devices to go ahead and Google. I feel so terrible for her. And you know, and I have to be honest, at my big age, it's so odd when I meet people in public because if you connect with somebody on a certain topic like this one, do you say, oh, well, here's my number. Call me. Like, what? I don't know. This is not, I'm not 17. You see what I'm saying? And then I also don't want to be all, oh, well, follow me on Instagram and DM me because I also don't want to be all like, I'm here. You're here. So I didn't know what to say when I left her. I was, because she was leaving and I was leaving. But I, so what I said was, well, if you end up buying one of their packages and coming here, I will be seeing you because I come here every day. So I'm sure I will run into her. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I just feel so bad because then I asked her, I said, how much did you pay? And she said about $9,500 for everything. And I'm like, at that rate, you could have added on the Master Pexi for another 10-ish. I don't know. You know, and the 360 add-on. <laughs> and been more happy. But of course, it's a lot more money i get that i get going the budget the budget friendly route but that that was i felt really bad for her she was looking at me and i she was like you look amazing and i was like i thank you i feel amazing i my stomach is just about flat at 12 days like she looked at my before and after picture of one day and was like your day one picture is smaller than i am right now day 20 and i'm like yeah even when she was sitting there, you know, you can, she had on a fitted outfit a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm wearing this loose stuff. And I'm like, yeah, you have to put on a tighter garment. I mean, this one's from the doctor's office. I didn't go to some, you know, place to buy it. I bought mine from the doctor. I was put on, one was put on me. And then I bought a smaller size down, you know, so I was telling all that. And I'm just like, oh. So that is the horror story that I wanted to share simply because for me, sharing this experience is because why would I hide it? I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. I love the, the results and this is my journey and I'm happy to share it. But it, it was important for me to share this story because if you are ever going to consider or are considering this now, be very careful if you're going to go with the budget friendly option because she said it with her own words. She said, it's like a factory. And I was like, that's exactly what I heard. I said, that is exactly what I heard goes down in Miami, is that it's like a factory. Factory was the exact word. And then I translated I translated that into a drive-through, that it must be like a drive-through. They're just rotating y'all through and, and not really giving the care and attention that people need. You can't call later and get help. No one's answering, they're busy, all this, all that. Another a, a, a video I was watching, the same one, where the woman said she had to blow up on Instagram just to get a response. She was sharing how she was in the lobby on her follow-up appointment. Oh, 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 and so the one I met today, she said that, I said, are there follow-ups included? She said, no, I said, excuse me. 
She said she went for a seven day follow up. And if you want to see the doctor again, you got to schedule an app. You probably got to pay. My follow ups are included up to a year. So the video that I watched, right? She said that when she was in the lobby for one of her appointments, I don't know what it was or something. Maybe it was, yeah, I guess it was a follow-up. This is in Miami, different company. She said that there was a woman who had had a procedure done and she was crying in pain. And the, the nurse that dropped her off from one of these recovery homes was telling her like, I have to go. I have other patients in the car. I don't know if she had to bring them other places or what, but I have to go, I have other patients in the car. So she's telling the girl, she got to go. The girl is crying. This is what I watched in the video yesterday. I felt terrible. Can you imagine getting the surgery done, going to this recovery house, you went by yourself for whatever reason, and you're hoping that these nurses and professionals will be your kid. They'll give you the comfort and the care and the love that you need because you came by yourself. And you are crying here in the lobby of this establishment. And they're like, I got to go. I have other people in the car. Those people in the car probably crying too. I mean, my God, I never cried through the whole thing again. I am a different person. I tolerate pain very differently and it just was different for me. Was I in pain? Absolutely. <laughs> the first few days, uh, yeah. You know, during the massages, yeah. But I never shed a tear. I tolerate pain differently and I've really been okay. Overall, in its totality, I've really, really been okay. But that story, all of these stories are just so, so sad. And I'm like, dang, that's terrible, you know? Very, very terrible. So I share it because uh, do, your due dil do your due diligence and everything that is cheap and affordable is not worth it. That's, that's the bottom line. Everything that is cheap and affordable is not worth it. That, that, be, that even goes down to sandals. Them old navy, old navy flip flops that you used to all buy two for five, for, five for two, two for, two for five, two for ten, whatever it was back in the day. All them things would leave you with your feet hanging out after a while. You feel me? Not everything that is cheap is worth it. That is what it comes down to. And I feel very terrible for this lady. I hope I do see her again. I hope that it's not too late for her to wear a tighter compression to get better results. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Maybe if she starts to compress now, she'll start to get get to a better place with her results, but <sighs> just terrible. Hands up. It's day 13 and I'm here for a massage. I'm getting undressed right now. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yo, I'm glad I got clarity on why all that brown stuff was coming off. Because I'm thinking, is this her oil rubbing off on me? No, it's my dead skin. And I'm glad I got clarity on that because I was like, why am I shedding so much? I never shed skin like this. Well, it's normal. And that makes a lot of sense because of the trauma to the body. So that makes sense. And I'll do the exfoliation that she was talking about at four weeks. Whew. But yeah, my... I'm going down. This garment is tight, so I'm like, Ugh. but my my pinches are definitely going down. <laughs> <laughs>